high levels of lead. 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 Lead in ground cinnamon. A new investigation found some hidden dangers. They accumulate in the body. So cognitive impacts, problems with the kidneys, problems with important blood cells, your immune system, and even reproductive health. The issue of lead contamination in common products is especially dangerous for children. These are the steps for how to check if the product in your spice drawer is risky and has been recalled. I'm Dr. Nock, PhD scientist, helping you separate fact from fiction in health and nutrition. Numerous cinnamon products have been recalled in the United States for lead contamination, and this is what you need to know. This is specific for only some ground cinnamon products sold at stores, and I will show you how to check which specific products are contaminated. Testing revealed lead concentrations as high as 20 parts per million in some batches of cinnamon. There's no safe level of lead to consume, especially for children, but 20 parts per million is getting up there as a particularly high amount. It's kind of like there's technically no safe number of times to push a child down the stairs, but you especially don't want to push a child down the stairs 20 times in a row. And indeed, the issue of lead contamination in common products is especially dangerous for children, since it can impair development and cognitive function. After ingestion, lead can stay in the body for a very long time, being released slowly from the bones over time, so this is very serious. In adults, the rate of absorption of lead into the bones and teeth is nearly 95%, but in children, it's only 70%, which means the other 30% goes to the soft tissues to cause serious health consequences. To be clear though, adults can suffer serious adverse effects from lead as well. These are the steps for how to check if the product in your spice drawer is risky and has been recalled. At this point, there have been numerous different recalls for ground cinnamon products and they have a long shelf life, so for the latest information on which brands are affected, you should visit the official recall page by searching FDA Safety Recalls, which should bring you to a page that looks like this. From there, you search for cinnamon and set the product category to food and beverages. From there, if you scroll down, you should see a list of relevant products. You could also search directly for the name or brand of your product that you have in your home, which is probably a faster way to do this. If you have one of the listed products with the specified production batch or expiration date, congratulations, you can do a heavy metal version of the cinnamon challenge. Dear FDA, that was a joke. You should instead take a picture and immediately throw it away. What are the symptoms of lead exposure? Short-term exposure to lead can result in headache, abdominal pain, vomiting, and anemia, among other symptoms. Longer-term exposure can result in a lot of things, including irritability, lethargy, fatigue, muscle aches or muscle prickling or burning, constipation, difficulty concentrating or muscle weakness, tremors, weight loss, in addition to a bunch of bad health outcomes with the brain and the heart, so cognitive impacts, problems with the kidneys, problems with important blood cells, your immune system, and even reproductive health. But why is lead so dangerous if it's just a metal? Lead causes increased production of something called reactive oxygen species, or ROS, inside of your body, which interferes with your body's antioxidant defenses. This results in a type of chemical stress inside your cells called oxidative stress, which can damage cellular components, including cell membranes, and disrupt neurotransmitter function. You can kind of think of lead like a very strong anti-antioxidant, which is not good. And no, you can't simply eat a bunch of blueberries to get antioxidants to reverse those effects. However, eating more fruits and vegetables with antioxidants is still a good idea. But reducing lead exposure in the first place is where your attention should be, not just through monitoring contamination in food products, but also through awareness of lead-based paint in older homes, contaminated soil, some supplements, some toys and ceramics, and other sources. If you or your child do have lead exposure or lead poisoning, there are potential treatments that your doctor may recommend, depending on the circumstances. 